Welcome again to Zombie Tactics. Today I am here to pump you up. Believe me now or believe me later, the pump shotgun is the ideal tool for zombie eradicate. I can't do this. I've got to, I've got to do some kind of a celebrity uh, reference in the shotguns videos. It's kind of traditional, but that's as far as I'm going with that. Um, let's let's talk about the shotgun in detail. Well. I'm holding in my hands here uh, a Mossberg 590, specifically the Mossberg M590A1. It's the military specification version of this shotgun. It's uh, one of the better examples of a pump shotgun. When most people think of a pump shotgun, this is kind of what they're thinking of, something like this. Uh, some other good models are anything in the Mossberg 590 or 500 series, the Remington 870 series, Winchester makes a number of guns, not really familiar with all the models. An older model is the Winchester 1300 Defender, which um, gets good marks all the way around. There are also um, things like the Benelli Nova and Supernova series. Those are excellent as well. Frankly, you can't even really go wrong with some of the low-cost clones or knockoffs like the Interstate Arms Hawk 982, which is kind of a Remington 870 clone. All of those are very good. The shotgun is kind of the AK-47 type of theory. It might rattle, it might uh, you know, not always uh, look pretty, but it just plain works. And that's kind of what we're going for. I'm not going to try to demonstrate shotgun tactics with this today, but I am going to go ahead and show you how a shotgun like this operates. As the name implies, it's a pump shotgun, because you have this thing called a pump up here. Um, and it goes like that. And that's how the, the weapon loads. Now, you might approach a gun like this and pick it up and find out, hmm, uh, I, can't, I can't work it. What's going on here? Well, that means that uh, the action is locked. And the action is locked because there's either a round in the chamber or because it's been pumped and it hasn't been fired yet. Well, there's two ways you can alleviate that situation. One of them is to stick your finger on the t stick your finger on the trigger and pull it. That'd be a bad idea if you don't know the condition of the weapon. The other way to deal with that situation is to use what's called the action release or the action lock release. There's different terminologies used by different manufacturers in their in their ma manuals, but it all amounts to the same thing. And it's going to be a little button. On the Mossberg, it's located here. On other shotguns, it may be located to the forward of the trigger group, but you depress that and instead of it not working, well you're now you're suddenly able to very easily operate the action of the shotgun. That's one way that you would eject a round that's already in there that you wanted to get rid of if it's loaded. Um, loading the shotgun is pretty easy. When the action is in the forward position, you've got a loading area here to the bottom where the rounds, and I'm using these Snapcat W rounds here, go into the magazine tube which sits below the barrel and is encompassed by the action here, uh, the action, the pump thing here. <laughs> uh, I'll have to notate that. Uh, and then, of course, when you press that and operate the action, it chambers around and goes into the, into the chamber. And then, since we're using dummy rounds, we can go ahead and pull that trigger. Now, when I pull the trigger, it resets that action release lever. It's now in the depressed position, so I don't have to pull it forward. And as I pull the action back, it's going to eject the round that was in there. A round is going to come out of the tube and fall into this thing here, into this area here. The elevator comes down and wouldn't you know the elevator does its job that as you pull the action forward or push it forward the round is elevated up into position so that the bolt group pushes that round forward into the tube. Eh, I went ahead and ejected it by accident. That gives me an ideal opportunity to show you the, met the second method of loading this weapon. If your tube's empty you can simply take a round and do what's called an administrative load where you throw one in here and then the action goes forward and now there's one in the, in the, uh, the chamber. We'll go ahead and pull the trigger. You know that's a dummy round in this case. And keep 
it'll be a safety, of course, and on the Mossberg, it happens to be right here back on this area called the Tang, and this is a kind of a sliding operation here. Red means it's ready to go. You don't see red, it's not ready to fire. On many shotguns, it'll be a button either in front or behind the trigger group here, uh, more like on a more traditional rifle type of operation. Um, advantages of a shotgun like this are its simplicity, its rugged nature, its ability to take almost all kinds of situations. You can easily wash it out and it'll still work. Uh, common things you'll find, this particular shotgun has the capability of holding five rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. That's referred to most of the time as being a five plus one configuration, meaning that you've got five in the tube, one ready to go. You can hold a total of six rounds, but you wouldn't hear it said as just six rounds. They'd say five plus one. If this had a longer barrel, this is an 18 and a half inch barrel. If it had a longer barrel, say 20 inches, this magazine tube could also be longer. And it's not uncommon to find shotguns that will hold seven or eight uh, cartridges or shells in the tube and one in the chamber. So up to nine rounds on a pump action shotgun. That's pretty good firepower for something that can um, wreak extreme havoc as a shotgun can do when loaded with the right slugs or the right buckshot. Uh, we've got of course our mechanical sights, no batteries, ghost rings on this one here. And uh, you know the 18 and a half inch barrel, uh, cylinder bore, no, uh, no rifling. It's a zombie shotgun, an anti-zombie shotgun, I should say, for self-defense or anything like that. Uh, that's the basics of the pump shotgun. That's zombie tactics today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.